not even going to try to pronounce this, but I'm working on a screen set and tool change macro for a six position rotary turret. Uh, this particular model is being retrofitted. So here you can see the six position rotary turret. Um, however, there are several different configurations you can mount uh, on this particular turret. So it's important to be able to use more than just tool numbers one through six. Um, this has two different, three different positions, so it'd be nice to be able to use three different tool numbers for uh, these three tools. So maybe you could use uh, tool number two, 22, something like that, 5, 55. Uh, however you want to configure your tooling and your tool table, but it'd be nice to be able to use a couple of different tool numbers. However you want to populate your tool table. Uh, you can see the turret, how it's mounted here. So let's take a look at the screen set I developed for this FX20N. So here is the main screen. I've added the logo here. Uh, we can go to the manual tab. Again, I've added the logo. And like I do with all my turn screens, I've added the fixture here. So if you were to go into G55, you can see that it updates up here and lets you know what fixture you're working in. Uh, that's pretty uh, useful. I've added the B referenced home here. This is for the turret. Simply push this button here and it will reference the turret but unlike the X and the Z axis the turret has a locking pin that needs to be uh, released also it needs to make sure that it's clear of the spindle so it has to move to a tool change location in order to make sure that it's safe to turn the turret so we have our turret referenced now I've also added this turret button down here to try uh, take you directly to the turret screen and also we've added our pulley spindle pulley number up here this is to let you know what particular uh, pulley you happen to be running on if in fact you are running with different pulleys our auto screen added the logo here um, pretty much same thing here and I've added the turret button down below again when we go into cycle uh, this screen is a little different. I've added the turret lock and to let you know that the turret is clear to move or red if it's locked and added the turret button here below. The tool table screen and the diagnostic screen is, remains the same. And then last is our turret screen. So this is our turret screen. This is a completely new screen that I've added to Mach 3 Turn. Up top here we have our current tool number, whether it's front or rear tool post, uh, whether our jogs on and off. We have our X and Z coordinates, DROs. We have a built-in uh, delay DRO here. Now this is in milliseconds. So this is 2,000 milliseconds or 2 seconds. This is the delay for how long it takes for the pin to release and engage on the turret. Uh, we have our turret position, the current position our turret is in, and what degree that is. So our home position or position 1 is 0 degrees. This T right here will blink yellow when a tool change is in progress. Uh, we have our tool description here. This information is pulled from our tool table. So for tool number one, I have test as the description. I don't have any offsets in there now, but if there are offsets, it will display those there. Uh, we have our tool change location. So the idea is to jog your X and Z axis to make sure that your turret is clear of your part and then set your safe tool change location uh, Z will be the same as the DRO up here 
and x will be half of this because we're in diameter mode. Uh, let me see if I can get these to change for you. There we go. So this should be 1.0395 and this should be half of 8.18 so 4.09 something. There we go. And then down here we have inputs for our turret to be unlocked. So this is letting you know it's clear and this is letting you know it's locked in position. Uh, we have our status fault status down here. This displays any error messages or messages pertaining to Mach 3 and we have our MDI line here and then next is our turret graphic here. Now this is to emulate the turret for the FX20N I did the best I could here but it looks pretty good uh, so we have our DROs for each slot now as you can see you can use any number from 1 to 99 so you're not tied down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 uh, this is useful as I said before if you're running two different tools in one location you can have this set up for tool number one and if you want to run the other tool you can set this to tool 11 or however you have it set up in your tool table so in order to manually rotate the turret to a particular position all you have to do is just simply push the number here you can see that the turret is moving so we have this turned yellow it moved 300 degrees and reset to tool 99 so position 6 is 300 degrees it told us that we're in turret position 6 and our current tool of 99 now I manually am simulating this so I just went ahead and locked and unlocked and made it both of these particular inputs high however in real world when you're running this if you press 2 there is a it's going to move to position 2 but their pin needs to release after two seconds if the pin does not release it will give you this turret not unlocked so you have a couple of choices you can rectify the situation by unlocking the turret and clearing that up or simply cancel out and it will stop uh, trying to position the turret so we're going to make sure that it's unlocked it it is then again moves to position two and if it does not lock back within two seconds uh, you'll get the turret not locked error message so again make sure that it's locked and then hit retry and it will complete the move this is the same thing when you're doing a tool change so if we do a T04 04 now tool 4 with offsets of 4 and we hit enter then we make sure it's unlocked it lets us know that it's unlocked it rotates locks back and tells us that it was locked and then we change the to tool number 4 uh, slot 4 position 180 degrees well that wraps up this video on the FX20N retrofit and the new Mach 3 turn screen set and macros. If you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you have an interest in a screen set similar to this, you can contact me through YouTube or my website. Thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.